Now that you know what microcontrollers and embedded systems are, you might be wondering, how does the microcontroller brain know what to do? Well, as designers, we create a set of instructions called a program that tells the microcontroller what type of inputs it needs to monitor and how to adjust its outputs appropriately. For example, in a traditional calculator, the microcontroller's program will specify that when the equal key is pressed, the calculator should perform the required arithmetic and display the answer. Similarly, if you press the call button on your cell phone's touchscreen, the microcontroller should recognize your request and initiate the call. We can accomplish all these things by writing programs. A program is a set of instructions that tells a microcontroller what actions to perform in order to complete a certain task. Microcontrollers read these programs and evaluate the instructions line by line. These instructions tell the microcontroller what to do. It is similar to you following a recipe when you are cooking dinner. Just as there are almost limitless possibilities to different dinner recipes, you can write programs to accomplish virtually anything that you want. Similar to spoken languages, there are many different programming languages that you can choose from, and it's up to you, the programmer, to decide which language is most appropriate in a given situation. Later in this section, we will be learning how to program a microcontroller in a programming language called C. While it isn't the most user-friendly language, C has many features that lend themselves well to microcontrollers. As such, most microcontroller programs these days are written in the C programming language. Remember, like a recipe, a program is simply a set of instructions that tells a microcontroller what actions to perform in order to complete a specified task. Next, we're going to show you a tool that you will use to create your programs, the Integrated Development Environment.